If you're among the millions of Americans who are on statins to lower cholesterol, this latest study could prompt you to call your doctor. Researchers analyzed the government study of more than 153,000 postmenopausal women and found that over a long period of time, there was a higher incidence of developing diabetes among statin users. Anything that's going to do to keep my heart healthier is going to prolong my life. So to me, that outweighs the risk of possibly developing the diabetes. Eileen Zedoff's cardiologist, Dr. Thomas Knox, at New England Integrative Health Associates says the risk for diabetes is relatively small. The study has cited that you have to uh, basically treat almost 500 patients before you see someone develop diabetes, whereas in that same population, the beneficial effects of preventing a heart attack or another uh, stent or, or another coronary problem is about 1 in 155 patients treated. But pulmonologist Dr. Michael Tiger, also in the same practice, points out that 50% of people who have heart attacks have normal cholesterol. Perfect blood pressure. There are studies that say that cuts down on cardiac disease, cuts down on stroke, but at the same time, the answer may be inflammation of the vascular system, and cholesterol just happens to deposit because of the inflammation. Therefore, the proper way to go after this would be to treat the inflammation and not necessarily lower cholesterol. And I have a very strong family history of diabetes, so it is something that I'm always on the watch out for. So I would just be vigilant to make sure that I do get it checked out. More than 20 million prescriptions for statins are written every year. Dr. Tiger says the take home message here, doctors don't have all the answers, but believe statins are the way to go. However, with this latest study, they should make those recommendations with caution. Back to you.